Hey guys, Eric Barstow with Painting Business Pro and we're back in this video. We're going to talk about how to start your painting business in 2018 and at this point uh, in the last video we covered your business launch checklist and the things that you need to do to actually establish a business and what the cost would be on that. The next step is you got to figure out how to get your first couple customers. All right, and, the, and what that is is marketing. And so in the last video we talked about that there's free marketing and there's paid marketing. So depending on your financial situation you might need to do the stuff for free, which is what I did, or you might have enough money in the bank that you can cut the free stuff and do the paid stuff. Now, what's the difference between each? Well, free marketing isn't exactly free. You gotta pay with your time and your effort. Paid marketing doesn't take any time. All right, so are you gonna exchange money? Are you gonna exchange time? Just depends on what you have more of. You've either got more time or you got more money. If you don't have money, then you're gonna do the free stuff. So let's dive right in. So free marketing. So there's a number of different things that you can do that are free. Um, the first is you can post on Facebook, right? You can just post on Facebook, post to social medias and try and find friends, family, people you know who are looking to get some painting done. And you know, maybe that's one way that you can generate business. That works more for some people than others, but that's one free way to generate business. Um, we'll come back to door to door. Uh, referrals, so this is, you know, do you have any friends or family that know people who want to do painting? So actually reaching out directly to people asking, hey, do you need any painting work? Do you need a bathroom painted? Do you need a bedroom painted? Do you need your garage painted? Do you need anything painted? But directly reaching out to people that you know, either if they want painting or they know someone who wants painting done. Another one is creating partnerships. So you could call your HOA, your homeowners association. Um, so I live in an HOA and I just called my HOA one day and I said, hey, are you guys taking bids on any jobs? She's like, actually we are. You know, this house on this, this street needs uh, an estimate. We're taking bids on it right now. So I put in an estimate and we got the bid and we painted the house. All right, so you can contact HOAs, property managers, real estate agents, you know, other contractors, HVAC, general contractors. There's a lot of people who might not do painting, but they're closely related to painting who can refer you work. You can also look at joining, um, which some of this isn't free, but either like your local chapter of commerce or some local networking groups or local marketing groups. And then the last thing is, you know, you can post on Craigslist, all right, which I wouldn't bank on that, um, but I've heard people get jobs from that uh, occasionally as well. Now, uh, I want to jump back to door-to-door -door marketing. So this is how I started my business and how I was able to start it with 200 bucks. Um, so basically I, I printed out, I said in the last video, I spent about $150 on marketing. So I printed a lead sheet. So it just said like name, phone number, email, right? It had the cost of all the information I wanted to get from the customer that I was going to take down when I went door-to-door. -door. And then I printed out like 400 flyers. So I, 100 pages, four flyers per page. And I cut those up and then I printed out contracts. So maybe 50 contracts that were carbon copies, so they look all professional. Now, uh, there'll be links below the video for uh, some materials that I just mentioned, like a contract and things like that that you can download on the website. So, uh, so I got all my materials, right? So then I, I picked a neighborhood. It was a middle to upper class neighborhood, about 10 to 15 years old, nice, nice homes, nice cars. And um, I took a friend in there and we went into the neighborhood and uh, went for about an hour and a half. So it was two of us for an hour and a half and we just knocked on doors and I come up to your door and I go, knock, knock, knock. And you open the door, say, hey, how's it going? I'm Eric, I'm with Foothills Painting. I just noticed you guys had some peeling paint up here so I just wanna give you a free estimate. And what happened is we went marketing for an hour and a half. So we did that for an hour and a half Tuesday and then we went for an hour and a half on Thursday. So three hours and three hours, six total hours of knocking on doors. 11 people said, yeah, sure, I'll take an estimate. And I was like, all right, great, I'll call you later. And I called those 11 people later. I set up six estimates. And of those six estimates, I ended up booking five of them. And uh, within two weeks, I was totally profitable. All right, so that's the benefit to door to door. It's really, really simple. It's absolutely free. And it's an amazing way to just get started and start making money. Um, so that's our free forms of marketing. Then we have paid marketing. All right, so this is stuff like, you, maybe you've got money set aside to start a business and you can just get started. So there's uh, something called lead services, all right? And there's tons of them, all right? So below this video, I'll list out some of the lead services that you can check out that I recommend using or that we've used in the past. Um, one of our sister companies is a lead generator. So here's, here's how lead services work, all right? And there's a bunch of companies that do this. So these companies basically help homeowners get estimates from painting companies. So if I'm a homeowner, I go search on Google, I click on one of the links, and this company says, hey, 
Sign up here and we'll connect you to three local contractors to give you estimates. Customer puts in their information and then the company takes the customer's information and immediately sends it to you and they say, you know, hey Eric, here's, here's, a, you know, here's Mary, she wants an estimate for her whole exterior. And I pay for that referral from the company. So I pay them 30 bucks or 40 bucks or 50 bucks for that referral. And I call her up and say, hey Mary, this is Eric with Foothills Painting. I just got your information from this company. And they said you wanted to get an estimate. And she's like, oh my God, it's, yeah, you called. You called so fast because they're always surprised by it. I say, great, well, let's set up a time. All right, and you pay 30 to $60 for that referral. All right, so you can pay, like I said in the last video, 500 bucks. You can get, you know, 10 to 15 referrals from that and set up seven to 10 estimates. On seven to 10 estimates, you can book seven to $10,000 in business and boom, you're, you're rocking. All right, so uh, like I said, below the video, we're gonna put a link to the website where you can actually download some of the resources I mentioned. We'll also list out the different lead services that you can try using if you're just getting started and you wanna utilize paid marketing. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how do you sell. All right, so now you've, you've done some of this or you've done some of this, you've got estimates set up with customers. Now, how do you sell a job? How do you meet with a customer and get them to sign a contract with you? And how does that work? And what are some of the main things that you need to get in place to sell a job at the beginning? So that's what we'll cover in the next video and we'll see you there.